Today, we're going to be taking a look at the scale plan inside of AI SEO. Dilyar just posted this to the Facebook group, the insider group for AI SEO. The current discounts, the greatest discount, and they're doing it to support the early adapters. I got to say, they've been truly improving this tool just over the week that I've had it. That is a very encouraging sign. So on this plan, you're going to be able to jump in to the blog post generator, which I actually couldn't do on the prior lifetime deal plan. And you're going to be able to enter in a search query. And I'm going to talk about meditation for entrepreneurs today. For our title, we'll just go ahead and and keep the same thing. And I'm going to create an SEO document. Again, this is the blog post generator. They're going to take us through a little bit of a different workflow. The topic that I want to talk about is meditation for entrepreneurs, meditation and mindset as my keywords, the meta description, talking mostly about how important it is to meditate as an entrepreneur, really just to manage stress, right? You got to have some sort of way to decompress, de-stress, because frankly, it's a stressful line of work. So I'm going to click generate titles and the magic's taking place. It's going to go ahead and spit out some titles for us. Down here at the bottom, we'll see stress, how the mind and body affect business, the mindset trap, how we become stressed, mindfulness, four stages of meditation, seven mindset mistakes people make while starting a business. Ooh, I actually like that. It's like, oh no, what kind of mistake am I making? A lot of people are obviously starting online businesses now, trying to break free from that nine to five. Personally, I've been meditating every day this year. My mind is better than it's actually been in a long time. So we're going to enter in some keywords, mindset, meditation, mind. So the first tab was blog ideas where we got our title. Now we're going to come to the blog intro and we're going to select which paragraph we like best. When you're managing a company and your most precious time is spent in it, suddenly all of your most difficult and exhausting moments seem to come to the surface. That's a true statement. Millions of entrepreneurs in the U.S. are in the same boat. We're all just trying to build something that'll work. That's true as well. Every single industry is not benefiting from society's fast paced blah, blah, blah. All right, I don't like that one as much. This one's perfect right down here. Like, and by perfect, obviously it's not 100% perfect, but it definitely hits on what I'm trying to talk about. Now, this one up here at the top could work too. Seven mind mistakes people make when starting a business that they may not realize and how you can stop them from happening. In fact, that's probably more online with our title, seven meditation mistakes people make, meditation mistakes. So are we going to talk about meditation or are we going to talk about mindset? That's kind of the thing we need to decide right now. Personally, I think I'm going to steer this in a different direction now. Seven mindset mistakes people make when starting a business. I think that's pretty good. Uh, this could also be a lead magnet. We could convert this into an ebook. So next up, we're brought to the blog outline and I'm going to have to enter in some keywords. I would like it to keep my keywords in there. I guess each time our idea is evolving a little bit. So now we've got our title. We've got our keywords. Now this could work. The most important that people make meditation, stress, top five ways you could be killing your business. This one's actually pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to actually copy this just in case. But I'm going to generate it again and we're going to see what we get. That's kind of what I've been like a little bit more harsh on, I would say, with AI SEO is it's an AI tool that is not 100% refined. There's like good parts of each of these, but none of them absolutely nail it. And underneath that, we're going to paste right in here because I think from this we'll have seven. And then I'm just going to delete out this because it's so redundant. I don't want to be giving the AI too much redundancy. It'll probably give me more redundancy back. And this is good enough for now. It's not a true seven, but it's good enough for now. I don't want to confuse it. So I'm going to delete out these numbers and I'm going to go ahead and select this one. So this was kind of a combination of two blog outlines. So first was the blog outline. Now it's the structured outline. And we've got to enter in our keywords again. I guess it's having us enter our keywords each time because it's guiding us through the process. We need to be refining our keywords and our overall idea. This is going to be the one that we're going to go with. Got some weird formatting right in there. The most important seven mindset mistakes people make when starting a business. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to give it some keywords one more time. I can't spell that word entrepreneurship. I actually think it's kind of a silly word. It's got it's gotten so overused. We're going to go into the editor. And now that I'm in the editor, it has actually done most of the work for me. Oh, wow. This is quite a bit different. So again, you're going to have to clean this up. We're going to have to format it. But all in all, this is a pretty nice process. Now I can come to SERP sections, extract the SERP data. And here under SERP sections, we have seven mistakes to avoid when starting a new business. This is actually from QuickBooks. And yeah, that's the uh, top search result. So in theory, we should be able to rank for that, I would think, right? Now, QuickBooks, obviously that's high domain authority, entrepreneur.com, addicted to success, but I'm going for mindset mistakes, right? Now, is that a high search volume? Are people really Googling that? Probably not. 
But I think for a lead magnet, this is absolutely perfect. So now I've gone through and cleaned all of this up just with some formatting. I turned it into seven mindset mistakes that people make when starting a business. I've got my introduction. I have my conclusion. What we'll see is it's about 700 words. I've not really written much from this. I actually took everything that they had pretty much written and I just moved it around. So I'm going to get out of here, but writing without the credits, I didn't care as much, right? About the actual burn. And what we'll see is the original article was 11, 1200 words, and I'm getting about 700 out of it because of the formatting and all of those different things. So I would highly encourage if you're using AI SEO to consider that monthly, particularly while they're doing this special, it's not the best AI tool. I don't want to act like it is. I don't even know what the best one is if I'm being completely honest with you because they all have big weaknesses and then they also have very good things that they're trying to do and accomplish. I really think that Dilyar is behind this tool 100%. He's been making improvements. He's listening to the feedback. You know, I've been, I wouldn't say like super critical, but I haven't been super positive about AI SEO. I've just said what it is, you know, what it is, what it is, what it is. That's what I'm trying to do so that you manage expectations. But for this price, particularly if you don't have phrase or anything like that, of course, that's a more mature product. For this price, you're going to get this type of stuff. You're going to be able to generate unlimited uh, credits, you know, as far as we could actually write within here, we don't need to go to writer or another tool. However, the writing experience in writer is going to be a little bit better and the AI output probably going to be a little bit better, but mostly it's negligible between all of these tools. It's really making sure that you understand what to give the AI and then that's what it'll give you back out. So hopefully this video brought you some value. My name is Scott with AI Profits and we'll see you in the next one.